Hey guys, this is Jennifer from Coins at Home and I'm back with another video. Now, as you know, Coins at Home brings you the best work from home jobs, side gigs, and extra cash opportunities. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, tap that notification bell so you'll be notified of when I drop my next video. All right, guys, so I know, of course, how much you guys love these non-phone work from home jobs. And guess what? I have another one for you today. I'm gonna keep bringing them because I know you guys love them, okay? So I really hope you guys are appreciating them. Um, and also just let me know, let me know in the comments if if um, if you just want me to keep bringing those. Um, I'll try my best to keep bringing those non-phone work from home jobs, okay? So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Today's opportunity is gonna be coming to us from Live World. And if you are not familiar with them, Live World is a digital and social marketing agency empowering companies to scale online dialogue in web, social media, and messaging apps, allowing stronger connections and deeper relationships, all right? Now, the role that I have for you guys today is gonna be a social media agent. All right, and a little bit about the social media agent at Live World. Uh, their social media agents provide social customer service, engagement for marketing purposes, adverse events management, and or protection of a brand image, all right? A Live World agent provides a great experience for a brand's customers in their online venues. This position is hourly, part-time, work-at-home position. Flexibility is needed to occasionally work evenings, nights, weekends, and or holidays, all right? Now, a little bit about the responsibilities that you'll have uh, in this role. You will review and take appropriate action on social media posts according to brand guidelines to include rejecting or approving content, tracking, and escalating. You'll triage and respond to customers' questions, selecting and personalizing previously prepared responses or in a social context. You'll actively engage with online users, stimulating, guiding, and participating in conversations. You'll be authoring responses on the fly, research customer service answers, and in some cases, client CRM systems. You'll need to identify and escalate trends, topics, sentiment, and emerging issues. And some of the required skills or traits that they are looking for, uh, they're looking for someone with the ability to connect with people and communicate in a courteous conversational style while making decisions according to guidelines. Someone that has the ability to compose well-written messages with the use of good grammar and appropriate punctuation. Strong keyboard skills uh, is what they're looking for. And the ability to navigate between multiple systems or applications simultaneously. They are looking for at a minimum for you to be 18 years old. Uh, the requirements as far as experience will be two to three years in an online moderation and engagement or online customer service is desirable. Now, some experience in a call center environment would be helpful. Also, work at home experience, previous work at home experience uh, would also be helpful, as they've stated here. Um, they do state that a college degree or equivalent experience is preferred, okay? So, um, even if you don't have a college degree, still go ahead and apply. Um, they are just requesting that you have the experience um, as well, all right? Now, some of the things that you will need as far as technical requirements for this role, they are uh, saying that you would need dependable high-speed internet access, also dependable telephone access, landline is preferred, and that's going to be for training, all right? And this is a non-phone role, but this is, um, you, you'll need a telephone for training, all right? And ability to work in a quiet and secure home office atmosphere, and your work must be performed on a desktop or a laptop computer. The use of a tablet or mobile phone is not feasible for this position, all right? Um, now, as far as the language requirements, all applicants must be fluent in English and they do have some, uh, looks like they have some positions that involve fluency in, in other languages. So if you do speak one of those languages here, um, looks like they may have some additional opportunities for you as well, right? And then finally, they do state that they are currently recruiting U.S. residents. Um, and so right now they are not recruiting outside of the U.S. However, I do see here at the bottom, they do have a link for non-US residents. So as you know, as always, I'm gonna leave everything down in the description bar. So I'll go ahead and leave that link to apply there um, for US residents. And right now it does state on the um, on the job description that they're not recruiting for, for, uh, for non-US applicants, but they also list a link um, to apply as well. So I'll definitely leave that there for you for future reference. Um, it's great, you can always come back to this video and refer to it and just see sometimes, you know, you never know, they could just update that. Guys, like I said, I'm gonna leave all the information that you need down in the description bar. 
If you're interested, I would highly suggest you go ahead and apply for this role. Um, if not, this one wasn't for you. Um, no worries. You know, I got you on the next one. Um, but if you think this role might be good for someone that you may know or someone in your social network, go ahead and share this video with them. OK, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Guys, I hope you stay safe and I'll talk to you on the next one.